Rise family. My name is Candy Nicole. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Deep Soul Healing Wednesday and every Wednesday, if you're new here, we discuss a topic relating to the healing of your soul. The Lord has said that this is a season of restoration and when he restores, he restores from the inside out. He's not just restoring physical things to you, but the Lord is restoring things inside of your heart. The Lord is repairing things inside of you. And there are many things that many of us have just swept under the rug. We've hidden in a closet, a junk closet, a junk drawer in the spirit. And the Lord is saying it's time to deal with those things because where I'm bringing you, I need you to be empty. I need those closets to be empty, those drawers to be empty. I need you to make room because I'm about to fill you up with the new thing all right so we want god to bring that new thing into our life and we want to be ready for it and today we're talking about guarding your heart this is found in proverbs 4 23 it says above all else guard your heart for everything you do flows from it and this is advice from king solomon as we know he was known as one of the wisest kings in the bible so very good advice, but I want to tell you, uh, calm down, all right? And what I mean by that is don't build up your wall so high that no one can come in. What you need to do instead is establish boundaries and also have a vetting process. What is a vetting process? Well, that's when you're getting to know people and instead of you're like, oh, I feel this connection. Let me bring you in real close. Leave them people where they at. Allow time to happen. Allow seasons to pass through. That way you can get a real feel of the type of person this is and where they should stand in your life. And what I mean by this is there will be people who come into your life and they will be at certain levels. So you might meet someone and they're at a level two. You cannot give them a level 10 access into your life. You might meet someone at a level four. Again, you can't give them a level 10 access into your life. You have to set boundaries and that is how you protect your heart. You also need to make your intentions known. You need to make your expectations known in these relationships. And when you find that people cannot meet those expectations, that's when you step back and you say, I thought that was a level eight. That's a level three. Let me stop giving access of a level eight when they cannot handle what comes with a level eight. There's certain expectations and requirements that's met for a level eight. And there's also a certain part of your heart that you're letting a level eight into that you are not letting a level three into. That is called setting boundaries and that is called vetting. All right. So yes, the Lord does want you to guard your heart, but he doesn't want you to guard it so much that you are not open to allowing other people into your heart. Like we just said, the Lord is sending new people into your life and he wants you to be able to accept those people into your life, but he also wants you to do it wisely. And the wisest way to do that is to vet them, to go through seasons with people and see where they stand as the seasons progress. Instead of meeting someone and just pulling them right on into that level 10, taking your time and allowing relationships to progress naturally and not just bonding quickly with someone based on one or two things you have in common, you bring them in on a level 10. That's not what the Lord wants. So along with today's video, there is a blog post on CandyNicoleArise.com. It'll be posted down low in the description. You guys go check out the blog post that's associated with this Deep Soul Healing Wednesday. And it's called Creating Boundaries That Guard Your Well-Being. So check that out. Apply it to your life. Sit down with the Lord and ask him about your life in this word and how you can apply this wisdom to it and also ask him about more wisdom pertaining to your life and your situation in your secret time and how to move forward in guarding your heart. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will talk with you soon. Bye y'all.